This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. On uh, November 13th, you find yourself teaming uh, with grappler number two to take on Ted Allen, your old pal and, uh, Kelly Kaniski. I wanted to talk a little bit about Kelly Kaniski because this is a name we don't hear very often coming out of the, uh, the, uh, Calgary territory, any memory of working with, uh, with Kelly. I remember Kelly was pigeon toed, <laughs> not that that mattered, but it just, for some reason, that's what I remember about him. I remember that his dad was a big star in the business, Gene Kaniski, which meant that Kelly had a tough road uh, to hold, I imagine, following in his dad's footsteps. His dad, I think, had like a flat top. Um, I mean, he had that real bulldog-ish, if, if, I, if I'm remembering, you know, the picture that I've seen of him. You know, he had that real rough look. He looked like a drill sergeant or something and was just uh, – a uh, big rugged guy. So I, I just remember Kelly talking about his dad very fondly and, you know, uh, growing up a little bit, just, just a little bit of stuff that if I was in the room with him and I overheard a conversation, but nice enough fella. Uh, he would have been kind of like me at the time, just a middle of the road. As far as his look, he wasn't over, it was a good sized guy, but not an overly great body or anything like that. Nothing that would make him really stand out. He briefly worked for uh, Mid Atlantic, World Class, the AWA, but he retires by 87. I think at the time he retired, he's only like 27 years old. Well, why do you think that is? Did he just not have the love for wrestling the way some other guys do? Or did he, was he just frustrated with his lack of attraction in the business based on? the big shoes maybe his dad had left behind. Yeah, I think so. And the fact that he hadn't been used better when you've been to that many territories and you never make it past that underneath opening match, second match of the night, maybe third match of the night, uh, situation, you figure out it's a hard business. It can either be the easiest, most wonderful business in the world greatest way to make a living in the world uh or it can be the most difficult it's almost like a salesman you know you hear the you probably heard this in your line of work being a salesman is either the easiest best paying job you've ever had or the hardest low paying job depending on if you excel or not yeah that's right you know um and we are selling we're selling ourselves we are the product and if you don't get over in your third or fourth territory and you're you're kind of just breaking even because if you have a family you're having to send money home and live as cheaply as you can but pounding those roads in louisiana in the first match for 500 dollars a week i can tell you had it not been for me just loving the business and willing to sleep in my car or doing whatever i had to do eat beanie weenies out of a can to get a chance of being a wrestler, I could see where it would be very, very difficult if moving from territory to territory, that was your life as an underneath. I had no aspirations of being an underneath guy. I wanted to be the best wrestler ever. That was my goal, not to be the world champion, not to be the champion of uh, any particular territory. I just wanted to be really, really good. And I figured everything else would take care of itself. Well, words to live by right there. Let's talk. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.